Okay, so this is my leopard gecko vivarium. It's relatively large for a leopard gecko. This, uh, well, actually, we had a corn snake in this, and she was like a, I think she was 16, so she was, she was an old lady snake, and she did absolutely fine in this. Uh, this is an Exoterra low medium uh, terrarium and they are fantastic they're a little expensive but it is totally worth it um, I've got my my drainage layer here which is where all the moisture collects I have leca balls which are clay balls that hold on to the moisture um, so that the custodians your your bugs that clean up all the poop and eat all the, the dead plant matter and stuff like that go to stay hydrated because I mean this is an arid enclosure so it's gonna be a little bit different so it's real dry um, this is the only area where there is really any moisture and I have a the water dish also, it opens from the front. Uh, I love that. Um, the water dish, I put a plastic pot in there filled with leca balls, and it goes down to the drainage layer. So I just pour water in there, and it goes straight to the drainage layer. And the bugs, once I get them bred, um, will hang out in here. And then they will... They'll spread throughout the soil. You'll probably never see them, but they'll be there. Um, obviously, I've got my my succulents in here. Um, this is the cool side of the enclosure. And in here, uh, you can't really see it. In there is... The cool hide, it goes back and it's full of sphagnum moss, which holds on to moisture for quite a long time. And so whenever <clears throat> whenever my gecko sheds, he goes in here to get the moisture to shed easier. Um, over here is his, this is his basking rock. Um, this is the probe, the, the infrared. Uh, heat coil right above the black rock black because it absorbs heat a lot better it's not super warm but uh, the geckos or leopard geckos the temperature for basking is generally tops out at like 88 and I it's 85 right now so but they need um, they need to be able to press their bellies up against uh, heat for digestion uh, if they do not have that they will get sick and possibly die um, this right here uh, is a piece of cork bark and it is his warm hide he's in there um, I made a little window so I can see him all the time He's still kind of settling in. This this enclosure is new, so he's not really completely used to it. But he does come out at night, which like he's supposed to. But I have everything hooked up to timers. Um, this light right here is for um, it's just a T8. Uh, I believe it's a 6500 Kelvin bulb. So I mean it's. It's for illumination and uh, uh, it's a, a spectrum that can grow plants. So you don't need this if you're not going to grow plants, um, but you can get a lower temperature bulb just for illumination. This is an Arcadia Shade Dweller. And it is de designed specifically for um, crepuscular animals like leopard geckos. Uh, crepuscular means that they come out 
at dusk and dawn. So this is, um, it's a UVB bulb and the bulbs are kind of expensive, but uh, it, it's well worth it. Arcadia is like S tier when it comes to their, their products. Um, let's see what else. Food dish in the back. I've got a calcium dish for him because uh, leopard geckos like to eat straight calcium. Uh, that being said, oh wait, you're not getting a leopard gecko. Well, anyway, stay away from calci sand. It is one of the worst products for in in the reptile trade. Period. Um, as far as like getting the terrain, there's a lot of wood in here uh, to brace um, to brace all the dirt so it doesn't just uh, collapse so um, yeah it it pretty much takes care of itself I've had this soil in here is oh, two years old three years old and I have never cleaned it, not once. And I mean, there's like this right here. This is a this is a urate. It's P. Um, you will have that, but it's it's not bad to have. The some some of the the CUCs will eat it, but it's it it ultimately gets broken down and goes back into the soil as nutrients. Uh, yeah, uh, this video is getting long, so yeah, if you have any questions, just let me, oh, leaf litter, leaf litter is important because your CUC eat it, and it gets broken down into nutrients, and those nutrients feed the plants, and it's an entire ecosystem, uh, it's very rewarding. To have a bioactive setup and I will always push it so yeah if you have any questions feel free to ask ask Rabs they can answer way more questions than I can but I can answer a lot still so yeah ending this video now